Behind closed doors, the Freemasons were free to indulge in the secret rites and rituals handed down to them by their ancestors. And these became the basis of their levels of membership, called degrees. Degree, degree. Politicians funded by the Masons promoted the Masonic ideology. The secret lodges of the Masons were open to members of the French army. High-ranking officers and generals were indoctrinated to the Freemasons' way of thinking. With the people, the politicians and the military of France under Masonic control, the Masons could finally strike. Freemasonry has worked in a hidden but constant manner to prepare the revolution. We are then in complete agreement that Freemasonry was the only author of the revolution and the applause which I receive from the left and to which I am little accustomed proves, gentlemen, that you acknowledge with me that it was Masonry which made the French Revolution. When the so-called founding fathers of America landed on Plymouth Rock, not only did they bring with them disfranchised people, they also brought the Freemasonic elements of Europe. The injustices which the Fathers of America were escaping from in Europe was also to be found in the new land, in the form of a tyrannical British regime. In order to gain complete dominance of the new state, the Masons used the same methods, gain control of France. Although the British monarchy was run by the Masons, the American War of Independence was a necessary action and the people involved in the war were expendable for the Masons to fulfill their dream. Emotions of the people were manipulated into anger and just like France, anger turned into war. This time, however, previous mistakes would not be repeated. The near defeat the Masons faced against Napoleon and his army in Europe taught the Masons a lesson. Any forthcoming leaders of the resistance must follow the Masonic agenda. The best way to do this was to ensure the leader himself was a Mason and the leader who took the war to the British was none other than George Washington. On the 4th of July, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was made. On the 17th of October, 1781, the British were finally defeated and surrendered the colonies to the Americans and the world's first Masonic state was born, a nation that would represent Masonry in every way. A sign of the Masonic presence in America is plainly visible on the dollar bill, which carries a picture of George Washington, the first free Masonic president in the world, and a picture of the free Masonic symbol of the so-called all-seeing one eye. 